big update coming today for all you iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch users, iOS 11. Apple had announced it uh, back back at WWDC. Now it's coming today, 9-19. Uh, it came already, if you're watching this, after September 19th. The question is, should you download it? And the answer is yes, but with some reservations, okay? Don't just go downloading it the moment it comes out. I'm gonna tell you why. The reason why, it's gonna break some apps, all right? What am I talking about? Well, let me show you. Uh, you need to check and make sure it doesn't break apps that you actually use a decent amount. And the way to do that is to go to your settings. You can do this now, before you download the app, definitely beforehand. Settings, general, about, applications. It's going to show you something like this. This is what I saw when I just did that little exercise. Um, it showed me the uh, app compatibility here and then it showed me these apps that actually are not going to work. See, you can kind of see them. Uh, I gotta get the, the directionality quite right. Yeah, there, there, there are the apps. 23andMe, X1 Remote, CR Shopper, Sketchbook X, and the Amortizer. I actually don't use these apps very much, so it's not a huge concern, but hey, I might just go ahead and delete them before I update to iOS 11 anyway. Uh, it, it has to do with 32 versus 64-bit compatibility. Eh, as a run-of-the-mill, everyday user, we really don't need to worry about what that means, but basically, these were built to run on an older version of the iPhone, the iPad, the iPod Touch with uh, an older operating system. So those aren't gonna work. So what should you do? Um, you should download it. There are some new features uh, for, uh, first of all, augmented reality, AR kit, that's gonna be a lot of fun, but also for phone management, for speed in the phone, so control center, you're gonna be able to customize it, put different things in there for quick access. Um, there are going to be new features with photos, which you can do with live photos, with notes, being able to scan documents from right within that application that comes loaded uh, on the devices instead of having to download third-party stuff. And I definitely enjoy um, using document scanners because that's how I keep track of my bills, basically, digitally, is I get my bills, I take a picture, then I can keep um, a version that way. It's very helpful. So now it's gonna be built into the operating system. It should help you. So, here's what I do. I wait, I don't download uh, the moment this goodness comes out. Um, wait a little while, a few hours at least. I'd say till the end of the day, when you're on Wi-Fi, maybe at home. I wait and I check Twitter to see if the version of the iPhone or iPad, etc., that I have is actually going smoothly with this version of iOS. So, I mean, Apple's pretty much wrote the book in the mobile era on updating software, updating operating systems. They're very good at it. Android is trying to catch up. Um, phones that Google makes, the Pixel, you know, Samsung has gotten better at it, but carrier updates for Android, they might come late. For some phone models, they might not come at all. For iOS, it's very straightforward. If your phone is able to download it, Apple lets you download it, then chances are it's gonna work pretty well. But if Apple makes a mistake and everybody makes mistakes, this is when it happens, when it's uh, iOS updates. So don't just go downloading willy-nilly, assuming it's gonna work. There might be glitches. What I like to do is I check Twitter. It's one of the times when Twitter's useful for everybody. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Quarter saying on Periscope, iPhone 5S still doesn't work well with iOS 10. Yeah, it happens. So that's why I check Twitter, let the early adopters be the canary in the coal mine and say whether this update is actually working. Because if you update, it's really hard to roll it back if you find that you don't like what it's doing to your phone, all right? So if iOS 10 didn't work well with the 5S, there are questions, I would question how well iOS 11 will work with the 6. Apple says, I was just talking to them recently that they fine tune this one, that it should actually allow you to have more space on your phone for photos and videos with some of the compression stuff that they've worked out. So it sounds promising, but I would say trust but verify, but it's more like verify and then trust, okay? So that's what I do is I wait until the end uh, and then I check. So thanks for tuning in. 
share this with anybody who's got an iOS device and is going to be thinking about upgrading to iOS 11. This works not just on the 19th of September, but whenever you're thinking about upgrading, check Twitter first, make sure the version of the device that you've got actually worked with this version of the operating system. Lots of good stuff coming, but again, some apps, some apps not going to work. These are the ones that popped up on my phone that uh, the 64-bit version is not going to work. Do they make it easier to copy photos, videos from the iPhone to laptop with the new iOS? Okay, there's a good question. And I will uh, address that because it's something I do quite often. Um, they make it easy to do a number of things like stream music, uh, using AirPlay to multiple speakers. But as far as file transfer, the easiest way that I found to do that is using AirDrop. It's actually pretty good. Um, you're on the same Wi-Fi network, or even just if you have Wi-Fi on on both devices on your phone and on, in this case, my MacBook, uh, I can select a photo or a video and share it over right over to the other device. It swaps up very quickly. So that is my method of choice, better than uh, trying to use some sort of, I mean, there really isn't any hardware that you can use very easily to do that. But AirDrop works extraordinarily well with that, something that I use every day. Thanks for that question on Periscope. Um, ping me even after this is done with your questions. You can do it uh, on Twitter, on Periscope, as you're watching the replay of this video, on Facebook, uh, on YouTube. This is live streaming everywhere. Ask me your questions about this or other technology related issues and I will try to answer them in future videos. Have a great day folks. And if you upgrade, be careful out there.